kind and decent. I'm an innocent captive. Please help. Bah. You're not buying any of that, are you? <laughs> Venkman said you were clever, so I'll be straight with you. I could have escaped this rinky-dink study hall at any time, but I wanted to meet you. Grandfather Spider will reward me handsomely for bringing you in. He might even let me keep your head as a trophy. <laughs> Let's play. essence. Grandfather Spider will release me when he destroys you. You and this disgusting spiral.
You've got that smug, I just wiped the floor with a shadow trickster look, so I'm guessing your little jaunt was a success. All right, you got the essence. Now here's the trick with the trickster. Cast this little spell, you take on his form and his skills. I hope that spell serves you well in Imperia, wizard. I'm glad I was able to teach it to you before you left. The other scholars might not trust me enough to include me in their little committee, but I couldn't just sit back and not offer to help. Well, I guess I should get back to work, and you should get going to Imperia. Oh, and uh, feel free to tell Ioni and the others how helpful I was. <laughs> As much as I'd love to chat, I've got a ton of research to do. And aren't Ioni and the other scholars waiting to send you off to Imperia? At last, I, I was becoming anxious. The Ark is fully updated, loaded, and prepped for takeoff. As is the crew. The course is set and we're ready to take our positions. Excellent. Oh, there's just one more thing. Ignis, if you would. Right. I fashioned a special outfit for you at understudy. It should provide at least a wee bit of protection against the Imperian Storms. I made you one too, Spark. Sorry, pork and beans. I only had time for these badges. But hey, at least you all kind of match now. Thank you, Ignis. Your gift means a great deal to me. I will say a figurative hello to Imperia for you. And for you, sister. Just see to it that the mission succeeds, brother, and try not to die. That would make me sad. At least we'll look the part. Crew, to your positions. Wizard, we'll leave on your mark. The time has come, understudy. Are you quite ready? Good. Remember, aboard the Ark, Pork is in charge. But that authority transfers to you the minute you land in Xanadu. From there, you must locate my contact, Ziggy Stardust. She should be able to help you track down Malori and the Bat. Take care, understudy. Safe journeys. Oh, and watch out for sky squids. Just go. We've said all that needs to be said, and then some. Take the spiral arc to Xanadu. Find Ziggy. Save Malori. Save the spiral.
Are we ready? All right, crew, it's go time. Wizard, would you do the honors of initiating the takeoff sequence on the systems console? We are all systems go, Captain. Ready for takeoff. Excellent, Mr. Spark. Initiate the photon propellers. Photon propellers initiated, Captain. We have liftoff, sir. Take us out, Mr. Spark. We are clear. All systems nominal, Captain. Shall I spool the stream drive for warp speed? Absolutely. And point us toward Imperia while you're at it. Already done, sir. The stream drive is spooled. Entering warp speed now. Take her in, Spark. Headlong into the storm. <laughs> Listen to this kitten purr. You've built quite an impressive sky ship, Mr. Spark. Quite impressive indeed. Thank you, sir. We are approaching the Empyrean Stormgate in three, two, one. We have breached Empyrean airspace, reducing stream drive to normal speed. Whoa! <laughs> the Empyrean ether, just as mean and nasty as I remember. Brace for impact! We have sustained catastrophic damage. The shields are failing. There must be something wrong with the Lux capacitor. We're losing altitude. Pull up, man. Pull up. Pull up! Should be fine. Uh, glad you could join us, wizard. Just take it slow. You've been out in the cold for a while now. How do you feel? Can you walk? That's it. Nice and easy. I ran a full diagnostic on you while you were snoozing. The good news is you're gonna be fine. The bad news is you're in Imperia. The ship took a knockout punch to the chin. It's bad. Real bad. The jewel inside that cyclo thingy looks even worse. The captain's gone outside to look around, and I haven't heard much from Spark. I assume he's okay. Hard to tell if he's concussed or just weird. I've got to salvage my medical supplies. Can you run down to the hold and see if Spark's all right? He'll want to know about the cyclo what's it. It's hard to know where we stand if I don't know the condition of the crew. Get to the hold and check on Spark. In answer to your query, I am uninjured. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same of the Ark. The crash was certainly unexpected. The ether storms have intensified since my sister and I were smuggled out of Imperia. I can only speculate that the conflict between Grandmother Raven and Grandfather Spider is somehow amplifying the storms. Most intriguing. The crash damaged the hull beyond repair. The ship will never fly again. We may, however, still be able to use our escape pods to reach Xanadu. I require a working cyclolabe and Lux capacitor to modify a pod. Our capacitor is intact, but apparently our cyclolabe is broken. We cannot leave this island until the storm jewel in the cyclolabe is replaced. Captain Pork is outside. You can help him search for a new one. Well, we made it to Imperia, but can we make it to Xanadu? The good news is, I know where we are. This is Ariel, 
We landed here on my last trip with Captain Coolridge. The bad news, it's not a very hospitable place. The jungles inland are very dangerous. Last time we ran into trouble, not all of us made it. You tell me we need to repair the cyclolabe. But first things first, let's see if the world door we brought made it through the crash. This island can be a dangerous place. We need to check the world door and get a new storm jewel for the cyclo lane before we can leave. The world door is working perfectly. We can get back to the rest of the spiral. But that doesn't get us any closer to Xanadu. The ether storms wreck ships here all the time. Their wind stones might serve as a replacement storm jewel for our broken cyclo lane. Ah, that wall wasn't there when I came here last time. And neither was that village. It looks like some castaways settled down here in the meantime. The castaways may be able to give us a windstone for the cyclolabe. Let's go check out this village and see. I'm glad to see your shipwreck had survivors. Welcome, strangers, to nowhere. This is your home now. Thanks for the welcome. But we will be leaving as soon as our ship is repaired. Once we all felt as you do, but no one can leave the Isle of Ariel. Speak to Prespero, our elder. He will explain. Welcome, newcomers, to your new home. You need windstones? They are gone. We have recovered all of the windstones from the shipwrecks and given them to the master. He had need of them. This master, is he the reason you can't leave? Is he keeping you prisoners here? <laughs> of course not. The master is our protector and provider. He keeps the beast men away so that we are safe. From his tower in the jungle, he sees all. He saw your ship crash and will no doubt come to greet you. Ah, here he is now. Kubla, is that you? My name is Khan. Pork, I see you still remember me. I cannot help but be touched. I, of course, remember you. Wizard, if you have come here with this cowardly off, you are doomed. He will give you nothing but pain and betrayal. Khan, listen to me. I thought you were dead. I never would have left you. Don't insult my intelligence. Why are you here? We are on a critical mission to save the Spiral, but our ship crashed here on the way to Xanadu and... Xanadu! Don't taunt me! Driven by dire need, I left my throne and beloved city, trusting you and your hapless captain to bring me to the Arcanum. Instead, you marooned me here. And now, years later, with who knows what horrors unleashed upon my beloved home, now you sail back to Xanadu! It's true. Khan, we'll take you with us. We'll take you home. All we need is a storm jewel. We can escape this place if we work together. A storm jewel. I had one once years ago when I tried to build my own ship to escape this wretched place. The Beastmen stole it from me. Caliban, chief of the Beastmen, he has it now. You will never get it from him. You are trapped here, as are we all. Now, if you will excuse me, I must return to my tower. I must prepare, you see, to take my sweet revenge against you. Khan, wait! Khan! My past is catching up with me. Khan was aboard Coolridge's ship years ago. We were taking him from Xanadu to the Arcanum. But the storms ravaged our ship. We stopped here for repairs. Khan and I went into the jungle for supplies, when suddenly we were attacked. In the melee, Khan fell into a rocky crevasse. I was sure he was dead. I somehow evaded the beastly attackers and retreated to the ship. Those beastly creatures. 
They must be these beastmen Khan was talking about. They have the storm jewel we need. How? You cannot. The beastmen were here before us, before Khan, even before Sycorax, the great witch the master defeated. They are terrible enemies. Caliban, their leader, rules them with an iron hand. He has a magic stone that controls their minds. His fortress is unassailable. Hmm, but there is one among them who might help you. An outcast called Crusher. You will find her cave in the jungle. Caliban's magic stone. That must be our storm jewel. We've got to get it from him. Go find this Crusher. I'll stay here and see if the villagers can help us in other ways. Find me when you're ready to take on Caliban. Good luck, wizard. If you would steal Caliban's magic stone, you should talk to Crusher. Her cave lies in the jungle. See a friendly face here in, uh, uh, wherever it is we are. <laughs> I could use some help. See this owl gal, Hootie from Avalon. She hired me to collect some blowfish from the Tradewind Skyway, and I caught her a whole mess of them. But as we were sailing back to Avalon, out of nowhere, the ship's captain starts hollering about a wormhole, and everything went haywire. Now, I didn't see no worm. But I did see our ship get ate up by an electromagnetic rift in space time and spit out in the middle of yonder store. It flung our skyship and, and all its cargo, including them blowfish, every which all way. Poor Hootie's gonna be devastated. So if you happen to spot them blowfish during your travels, could you scoop them up for me? I sure would appreciate it. You found them blowfish yet? They only want to be with who? T. <laughs> oh, I am ever so glad to see you, wizard. I was out collecting flowers for the Royal Museum, as I do, when our expedition became stranded here. But I intend to make the best of the situation. The nice folks in the village told me a sizzling tale of a legendary native flower. It's called the Crown Imperial. They say its blossoms glow like fire. That's a feature exhibit kind of flower, dearie. Now you know me. I'd be happy to wander around this exotic locale in search of Crown Imperials. But I can't seem to find reliable transportation. But you always seem to find a path through the weeds, don't you? If you manage to traverse Imperia, could you pick Crown Imperials for me? Apparently, getting around an Imperium is no stroll through the garden. If you happen upon any Crown Imperials, please pick a few for me.
away, puny human. Crush her. Crush you.
After all, human, what you want? Son Wesley in the monkey spider game. Terrible! You must help Wesley. Monkey spiders will eat him. Please bring him back. Then we get Calabar. Human? What are you doing in the jungle? My mother sent you. That's great! You've got to help me. I hid from the monkey spiders as long as I could, but they finally got me. I'm trapped here. Will you get me out of this? Their saliva will dissolve this webbing. It can get me free if you can get enough of it. But there's another problem. Even if you free me, I can't walk. The monkey spider's venom has paralyzed me. The fungus in these caves is an antidote, so get some of it too. Thank you. 
Let's get back to my mom, quickly! Beastmen, they're Calamar castaways who refuse to live under Khan's rule. Instead, they've allied themselves with Caliban. Raiders built fort here in jungle gates are locked. You get key from Raider hunters, then you go in and get more, then you come here. You want to get tool from Caliban? Go to Raider Fort. have keys. They're in the cave system over there. No idea why. Have any of you found the key yet? I can't believe we got locked out of our own fort. Wait, who's this? A wizard? Maybe it has the key. Raiders, fight on three. One, two, three. Fight! fight!
Oh, you don't have the key either, do you? If you came for the horn, it's in our fort. Only way in without the key is in the tunnel up ahead. the horn? You'll never get it. The Raider Nation will crush you. Boom! You beat us. Uh, uh, that's why we lost. Uh, horns waiting upstairs in the fort. Uh, good luck. How'd you get in here? The gate's locked, and I have the only key. Uh, you went through the tunnel, didn't you? Always tell them to fill that in, and if they need to get into fort, just give the chant. But here we are. You're strong, little wizard, but not strong enough. Time for sudden death, baby. <laughs>
I know when I'm beat. So, you have some kind of quarrel with Caliban? You want Caliban's jewel? I wish you luck. That shaggy fool never part with it. It's the source of his power. <laughs> Caliban thinks his jewel controls our minds. It doesn't. It's just a pretty stone. But these beastmen are so dumb, they actually believe it. <laughs> we play along so the beastmen won't attack us. They don't make very many demands of us, slaves. And Khan gave up on us. I was worried Khan had sent you to destroy us. But all you want is a horn? Go ahead, take it, baby. won the horn, but does it matter? Caliban's got an army of beastmen. My advice to you, just win, baby. Luckily, Caliban's followers aren't too bright. Even if you don't look like you belong, they'll mistake you for a raider if you blow the horn. Caliban's jewel will be your biggest problem. Wait, it's a fake? That's great! That'll make things much easier. You have a friend back in nowhere that can help us? Good. Go get him. I'll meet you at the foot of the mountain. Way up the mountain is hard. Many guard posts. You must fight them all. Take good care of Wesley. You want to get Caliban's jewel? Go to East Mountain. Fight way to walk. Up to top. You're back. You're ready to take that storm jewel from Caliban? Let's go get it. Beans, you guard the Ark. Darn it, James, I'm a doctor, not a security guard. And these castaways all appear to be in perfect health. So, what else have you got to do? <laughs> Come on, wizard, let's go. <laughs> 